Okay, today uh, we will look at the first generated by magnetic field. But before that, there are a few slides, okay, which is this one, okay, by using the MPS law, okay, in order to calculate the magnetic field surrounded infinite, infinitely long coaxial transmission line. So for this section, you can refer to the video that I share in older, okay, all that video explained about uh, the magnetic field, okay, surrounding the coaxial transmission line okay you can look at it and here there is a new term which is the magnetic flux density okay magnetic flux is represented by this symbol and it can be found by integrate the magnetic flux density okay with respect to a surface okay so the the relationship between the magnetic flux density and also the magnetic field Okay, is represented by this one and this will not represent the permeability of the free space it is a constant okay it is a constant so when we apply the divergence theorems okay so the magnetic flux okay can be represented okay by this one and the the divergence of the magnetic flux density will be equivalent to zero Okay, this is actually the Fox uh, Maxwell equations. So here list out the Maxwell equation for static electromagnetic field, okay, which we have learned before okay, in the previous chapter and sections. Okay, so in this uh, week I would like to focus on the force generated by magnetic field. So there are three conditions. The first one is force acting on a moving charge particle in a B field means in an environment that has the magnetic field so imagine you have a charge and this charge is moving and when it is moving in an environment which has the magnetic field so the 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 direction of the charge will be deviated okay based on the uh, depend on the directions of the magnetic field okay we will look at it this is the first case so for the second case you have a force which is experienced by a current filament okay in an external magnetic field so you have a current flowing and when you place this current okay in an environment that has external electric field sorry external magnetic field okay there will be a force experienced by this current filament okay and the third case is the force between two current filaments as you already know, okay, when current flowing in a wire filament, it generates the magnetic field, okay, surrounded, okay, the current filament, and this current, uh, this magnetic field, okay, is exposed, okay, or another current filament is exposed to the magnetic field which is generated by this current filament, okay, so the yellow current filament generate the yellow magnetic field and this blue current filament is exposed to the magnetic field which is generated by this yellow current filament okay we will look at the force which is in between these two current filament okay when each of them the magnetic field from each of the current filament interact with each other okay so let's look at the first one which is the force acting on a moving charge particle in a magnetic field so previously we have learned the electric force okay, can be determined by multiplying the value of the charge with the electric field okay in this case in order to find the force which is acting on a moving charge particle in a magnetic field we have to use this formula the Fm represents the force which is due, uh, generated okay, by the magnetic field. Q is the value of the charge and U represents the uh, velocity, okay, how fast okay, the charge moving, cross product with the magnetic flux. Okay, magnetic flux. So because okay, since this is a cross product, okay, when we rewrite it, it can be equal to magnitude of u okay multiply with magnitude magnitude of b okay multiply with the sine theta okay the theta will be the angle between the u and also the b 
can look at this diagram okay this is the direction of the u for example this is the direction of the b okay so by using our right hand okay moving our four fingers from the direction of u to b and the direction of the thumb will represent the direction of the force okay the magnitude of the force can be calculated by using these equations okay so for a moving charge in the presence of both electric and also magnetic field the total electromagnetic on the charge is given by this Lorentz force so it means that we can find a total force okay experienced by the charge by calculate each of the force one by one this is due to the electric field and this is due to the magnetic field so if the mass of the charged particle moving in the e and b field is m okay by newton's second law of motions we can relate it with the uh, acceleration and also the force that we have calculated here Here, there is a difference between the electric force and also the magnetic force. Okay. For the electric force, we found that the direction of the force and also the E electric field directions, they are in the same directions. But for the force okay, generated by magnetic field, okay, the force is perpendicular, which is 90 degrees to both the direction of velocity and also the direction of magnetic field. And for the second one, the electric force is independent of the velocity of the charge. Okay, we don't care how fast the charge is moving. But for the magnetic force, when the, for, uh, when the charge is moving in higher velocity, we will have stronger force. And this for the electric force, it expands energy in displacing a charged particle. So what is that? But for this one, it cannot perform the work when the particle is displaced because it is at right angles to the direction of the motion of the charge okay so for this case look at this one okay so the force is in this way so it does not help okay to move the uh, in, uh, the charge so we just say that uh, it, there is no work done okay so for this one fe change is kinetic energy okay for this one, it does not cause an increase in kinetic energy of the charge and the magnitude of the magnetic force is generally small compared to the uh, electric force. Okay, So these are the difference between the two force. So we will look at example. So for the first exercise, okay, you have a negative charge okay the value of the charge is negative 50 microcoulomb and it is moving in the positive x directions at a constant velocity 0 0.03 okay so this is the velocity u and it is perpendicular to a magnetic flux density of 8 weber per meter cube a meter square okay and the direction of the magnetic flux density is in the z directions Okay, this is the B. So you have to calculate the magnetic force acting on this negative charge. Okay, so first of all, we jot down the important information here. So you have the charge. Okay, negative 50 microcoulombs. U is the velocity in the x direction and B is in the z direction. Okay, if you look at this thing, Okay, in a 3D diagram, again, okay, this is the direction of the force, sorry, the direction of the B, and you have a charge moving in these directions. So you have to find the force by using these equations. Okay, Q represents the negative 50 micro, and this is the speed, and this is the B. So we just multiply them as usual, we get the magnitude, and for the direction, as cross product with a z as cross product with a z we will get negative y and at the end we will get positive 1.2 okay multiply 10 power negative 5 newton for the force generated by magnetic field and it is in the y directions 
Okay, let's look at the second one. You have a proton which is a charge also, Q. Moving with a speed, this is the U in the Y direction, through a magnetic field with magnetic flux density B, 2.5 unit vector Z. Okay, calculate the magnetic force. So basically they are the same. Okay, the information is very direct. Okay. This one. Okay, again, I jot down the important points and then I multiply them together. U is in the y direction, Z is in the uh, sorry, B is in the Z directions. So Y Z of course you will get X. Okay, and the value is equals to 150 okay, Newton in the X directions. So for the third exercise, it will be the uh, assessment in the order. You can answer it later. And for the last one, exercise 4. So imagine now here you have a charged particle okay, with velocity u in moving in a medium content uniform fields of this one and this one. Now you, you have a charge. Okay, and this charge is moving in an environment that has electric field and magnetic field. So the electric field and magnetic field they are in different directions. One is x, the other is y. So what should the velocity of the particle be so that the particle experience no net force on it? Okay, it means that the total force here, okay, the total force here will be equivalent to zero. Okay. So we will look at the solution here. Okay, no net force. Okay, means the F T is equivalent to zero, and we know that the F T, okay, is equivalent to the F E, okay, which is these equations, and F M, which is these equations. So if we take out the Q, okay, if we take out the Q. We have this one at the right side, and we know that the FT is equal to zero. Okay, so we divide. We in order to get rid of this Q, we divide the Q at both sides. For this side, it will remain zero. For this side, okay, we will have this one. Okay, we will have this one. So if we move this thing to the left side, we will have this one. Okay, we have this one. So it means that. The cross product between the velocity and also the magnetic field will be equivalent to the electric field. And if we relate the relationship between the B and also the H, okay, we can rewrite it to be this way. Okay, so the question says that magnetic field is in the y direction and the electric field is in the x direction. So we write it in this way. So now, okay, we have to. Uh, we have to find out what is the direction of the U so that when it cross product with the Y, we will have X. Okay? So we have to check the direction here. So the direction will be negative Z. Okay? So you can double check. Okay? For the ZY, okay? ZY, you will get negative X. Okay, when you have a one more negative here, you will get positive x. So this one is a positive x. So how about the magnitude? Okay, so the speed okay is equivalent to the electric field. This one you can bring it down here. Okay, which is the magnetic flux density here. Same thing. Okay, and it is in the negative z directions. Okay. So it become positive z now. Okay, negative, negative, positive. Okay, we can double check. So the, what happens if we replace the u to these equations? Okay, when we replace the u to these equations, we found that the net force is equal to zero. So this one will be the velocity. Okay, the velocity must be equal to e divided by v. And it must be in the z direction in order to get a net force which is equivalent to zero.